Hello Diamonds, welcome back to Diamonds Living Lovely and this is a what's in my makeup bag video. So this is the makeup bag that I use and this is a free makeup bag that I got from Lancome while I was working there and it says if at first you don't succeed apply more lipstick. <laughs> So cute and there's a little lips at the bottom so and this is a little lipstick so it has a little tassel here so that's really cute and when I open it up I have all my most important things in here um, but I also carry a little uh, this is my wallet slash like purse with the little it has a little handle here so I can carry it like this but I also carry this that I keep a few items in here as well. And I'm going to show you the items that I keep in that black purse first. Because I like have to have those no matter what. So I keep an eyebrow pencil. Um, and I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in dark brown. So I keep that on hand at all times. Just in case I have to touch up my brows before I go on a date or something. You never know. And... I keep a lip gloss in case I my lipstick is coming off and I don't have time to reapply or I don't want to reapply. I just keep a lip gloss. Just keep it glossy, you know. I keep a miniature version of my YSL Mon Perry perfume because I love it that much. It smells delightful. Oof, smells so good. Ooh, child, I gotta, oof. No, you gotta smell good. So I have that. I have my EOS lip balm in case my lips feel dry and cracked. Sometimes it gets windy in Vegas. I also have, you know, several lip products. Um, I have my Maybelline New York lipstick, and this one is an intoxicating spice. That's 070. So it looks like that. That's a liquid lipstick. I also have my NYX lingerie liquid lipstick, and this one is in ruffle trim I have that uh, I have um, a lipstick by Urban Decay called Troublemaker and it's just a really pretty vampy uh, burgundy shade packaging is gorgeous that's the only reason I'm carrying it because of the packaging <laughs> and then I have super vixen lip gloss you should always have a couple of lip gloss act, um, options and this one's from NARS and then I also have some lip pencils. So I have Auburn, which is my favorite color from MAC. I have Mahogany from MAC. And I also have Cork. And this is my go-to lip liner for a nude lip. So, And then lastly, I have a little mirror here that I picked up from a little store um, not too far from my house. So that is what I keep in my black purse and um, I usually have my lipstick from MAC called Paramount it's my go-to color and I pair that with my Auburn lip liner that I just showed you so yeah that's what I keep in my black purse now in this makeup bag I keep my Shishimura S curler this is the box it looks like this I never take it out the box because I don't want it to get bent up and smashed but um I keep some makeup wedges and a beauty blender in case I need to do a touch up on my foundation or a friend of mine wants me to do their foundation real quick while we're getting dressed to go for a girls night out Ow, you know so I always keep some of that I keep some Listerine Cool Mint pocket packs breath strips because you know <laughs> never know when you need to uh, pop one in so mm -hmm. and they stick to the roof of your mouth eh, as you can see that really freshens the breath love this this is perfect for an interview a date night gonna meet the your boyfriend's parents pop one of these and go girl I'm telling you okay I always have some lash glue and this is like a cheapy lash glue that I got from the mall um, I have a pair of natural lashes, and this is from Salon Perfect number 53. Um, I also keep a couple cheapy foundations just for touch-up purposes. Um, and the two I have in here from L'Oreal, they're True Match from the drugstore. Nothing big. And this is the Nut Brown and Neutral. Keep these two. I mix them together. 
to create my perfect shape. Uh, I keep my favorite palette from Wet n Wild. Favorite neutral palette. This one. It's called uh, Vanity. Um, I also keep a highlighter. Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey is a great one for travel because it's tiny and it packs a punch on the face. Be having you beat, girl. Yes, honey. I also like to carry um, four MAC shadows that are my favorite for a neutral look. Um, this one here is called, I don't want to, um, it's like a burnt orange shade. It's perfect crease shade. Um, I can't think of the name right now, so I'm going to just show you. Uh, this is Brown Script by MAC. Really nice shade. Uh, this is Foley, this is Rice Paper, and this is uh, Light Brown. So, yeah, Light Brown or something like that. Brown. It's like a, just any shade that matches your skin tone is what you can use. Uh, and uh, that's just perfect for blending out in the crease, and you can even use it as a brow bone color or anything like that. So I also keep a blush and the one I have is Flush 935 from Sleek. And if you'll notice, I don't keep like really expensive stuff in my to-go bag. Because if it gets stolen and you got all your expensive stuff in there, you're like, ah! you know, you're about to scream and like shoot somebody, you know. So anyway, I keep a really nice blush in there. Um, and like I said, this is Flush 935. 35 by Sleek Cosmetics. And I have another eyebrow pencil in here, and this is from Benefit Cosmetics. And this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Looks like that. I also have a concealer, and this is Estee Lauder Double Wear in FN Deep Neutral. So it looks like this, and this is a cream concealer. Um, I have a couple lip products in here. This is $19.95 from Gerard Cosmetics lipstick here. It's just a neutral shade. I have another uh, lip product in here. It's also from Gerard Cosmetics. And this is Cocoa Bean from um, this Missy Lynn came up with this color. So that's Cocoa Bean. It's nice because it has a little light on it, so I don't know if you can see that, but there's a light on my lips when I apply it. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then I have a Covet Waterproof Eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is just the travel size. So it looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. The tip is kind of fine, but it's a twist up. And you always want to have a twist up in your bag because you don't want to be sharpening stuff while you're on the go. Next, I have um, my Sleek Face Contour Kit in medium. And you get whatever color matches your skin tone. The one that's good for me is medium. That's the perfect contour shade for me. And this it's a nice, the highlight is shimmery, so I don't really use this side too much because it's a little light personally for me. But uh, so it kind of makes me look a little ashy. So then I have a lipstick, and this is Defina Seals by Lancome, and it's great for the lower lash line. I also have this Shine Control Powder, it's Rice Protein Complex by Neutrogena, and it's just a you know mattifying powder. So, it just looks white, but it's clear on the skin. So, then I have my favorite eyeliner, liquid eyeliner from the drugstore. It's NYC's liquid eyeliner. Looks like that. Then I have another mascara from Lancome, and this is one of my favorite mascaras from Hong Kong. This is the Hypnos Doll Lashes. And uh, hopefully you can see that packaging. There's roses on it. Really pretty. And let's see here what I want to show you next. Okay. Then I have another eyebrow pencil. And this is just the Anastasia Brow Wiz. 
I know you guys seen that many times before, so you don't need to see it again on this channel. And then lastly, but certainly not least, I have a few brushes. So I have a large powder brush, and this is the Elf Complexion Brush. You can just pick this up for a few dollars at Target. And then I have um, a blush brush that I also use for contouring and highlighting on the go. And this one is from Coastal Scents, and it's just a, a fluffy angled brush. And then I have my eyeshadow brush that I use and it's dual ended and dual ended brushes really come in handy for packing on the go so keep that in mind. So it has a shader brush on one end as you can see and then on the other end it has a fluffy blending brush for inside the crease or all over the eye. And then I have another dual ended product. I have a liner brush. It's an angled liner brush, as you can see. And then on this end is spoolie for, you know, the brows and the eyelashes if you need to. So, yeah, these are the only brushes that I really need when I'm doing my makeup on the go. And that's it. That is all I carry in my makeup bag. The only thing that's missing is my lipstick paramount from mac and yeah so that is pretty much what i like to have on an everyday basis when i go out to touch up my makeup to touch up someone else's makeup or to do someone else's makeup on the fly um and it it, it does a fairly good job for me um, most of my friends are around my complexion are darker maybe a shade lighter but they could use all these products themselves um just with a tweak here and there so um this works for me in terms of doing my friends makeup as well excuse me i got something in my throat as well as my makeup so yeah i really love all of these products drugstore and high-end and I mean the biggest tip that I can give for packing is make sure that you keep um, keep in mind exactly what you need to do a complete face complete face okay everything you need um, when you're out and that will help you to choose what you should pack so anyway thanks for watching this video and if you have um, if, if you think that I should pack something else as well let me know in the comments below let's get a dialogue going uh, let me know what video you would like to see from me in the future you can email it or you can comment below Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you next time on Diamonds Living Lovely. And remember to always, always live lovely. Bye. <laughs>